hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time thank you and don't forget to subscribe in case you are wondering who is this fellow uh, talking to you my name is Fumi Oyelaki and uh, most of the things I do on my channel is to teach people how to become better in perfume making uh, if you also want DIY sewing project also you are in the right place so today we are going to be looking at tools that we need if you are going into perfume making and some people are very much interested or I know you are very much interested in making perfume but perfume making goes beyond mixing two fragrances three fragrances just dump everything together it goes beyond that for you to actually come up with a designer perfume yes because once you make you are successful in from your formulation it becomes designer yes that's how it starts so for you to make your own designer's perfume your own special perfume uh there are rules that you need to follow but that is not where we're going to as a beginner you want to go into perfume making these are the tools that will be needed for you when you get these tools i'm telling you your formulation will be very very easy so one of the um one of the items i'm going to introduce to you is pipette this is disposable pipette this pipette would be useful for you to get drops of oil from different uh fragrance oils to mix together before you can start production so it is possible once you use it on a scent you just discard it this is perfect then another one is a cutting pad or you get a pad like this a foam pad or cutting pad the essence of this one is to check various fragrances to see if the scent mix together for instance like i said like i can have drop of this one here then drop of this one and put here on the same spot and try to see if the scent will align together this of this if you can get uh perfume strips yeah there are same strips that you can just dip in your oil and then blow air to it to see but i couldn't get that so you can improvise with this one another items that you need is measuring cup yes as you advance in your formulation fact when you advance that is when you move from formulation then you move to production that is the reproduction when you want to make use of the recipe that you have already prepared so you can get this it comes in different sizes another one that is special there for small experiment for mini experiment is this uh cylinder here this one you can see is measuring cylinder is different from measuring cup uh, the purpose of this one also is just to have your recipe put together like every drop of your fragrance oil you can use this once well as time goes on as you'll be seeing me creating uh having formulation that is my own perfume formula you will be seeing me using this one so you can also get this one if you are starting yeah another one is a measuring scale yeah when you are producing a large quantity it is advisable you measure in kg kilogram yes it's very very important because it will help you to get the accurate measurement once again you need a hammer button yes i have some with me here i have it plenty because i'm working on creating a perfume starter kit for my subscribers or for those who are interested in learning how to make perfume so you can have something amber button the amber button in smaller sizes like this this one is 13 this is 15 new you can see they are in different sizes so the purpose of this one this one is made to keep your fragrances in a smaller quantity 
Another important tool or items that you need is the mini funnel. This mini funnels will uh, enable you to pour your perfume in the perfume bottle so that you will not spill, you will not have spilled on your uh, working table. It comes in the vents. You have perfume bottle. This one is plastic perfume bottle. But you have, you can get the, uh, what is it called? Yeah. You can get the glass bottle as well. You know the glass bottle I'm talking about. Right now. Yeah. So this one, you can use it to save your work in progress. Yeah. All the formulation you are working on, you can save it in this type of bottle. Then just use as paper cello tape to give it a name when you do it so that you know what and what you are putting. And if it's good to go, you can start using it. So it helps you to save your perfume. Then, Most important thing, because without this one, you won't be able to replicate your uh the recipes that you've been able to put together and that is a jotter a jotter and a pen a jotter and a pen when you have it for every drop of fragrance oil you use you put it on record for every drops of fragrance oil you use i'm repeating it you put it on a jotter on record the reason why is when that perfume comes out well that is the particular one you are experimenting. When it comes out well, then you will be able to replicate it. If you miss a drop out of it, then you are giving a new scent or another project entirely. So that is why you need a perf uh, you need a jotter with a pen. You can see my own. Yeah, this is all my work in progress. I have it on record and if i want to replicate it it's very easy for me to go back to the jotter to my record see what and what it's very very essential anyway what else mm. do you know of any tools that a beginner can use in making perfume let me know in the comment section thank you for watching if you get value from this video please give me thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, share to your friends. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.